The first thing to note about the Dunwich Legacy campaign is that you get to choose which of the two scenarios in the base box you want to play first. You can play them in any order, and each of them plays slightly differently, according to whether they're run first or second. Read through the story contained in the prologue on page 2 of the campaign guide and pick which one of the people you want to track down first. You get to decide which one you want to do first, and which one you want to do second. The setup instructions for the house always wins as found on page 6 of the campaign guide. You're going to be using 6 encounter sets, two of those come from the core box, and they are the 3 copies of Swarm of Rats and the 7 cards from the Striking Fear set. For the 4 new encounter sets you're going to need the 3 cards from the Hideous Abominations encounter set, which is 1 Servant of the Lurker and 2 Conglomeration of Spheres. Then there are 6 cards from Naomi's Crew encounter set, 2 Abandoned Thugs, 2 Mobsters, and 2 the Hunted Down Treachery card. Then it's 6 cards from the Bad Luck encounter set, 3 Twist of Fate, and 3 Cursed Luck. And you need to take out 4 cards from the House Always Wins encounter set, which is a pair of Arousing Suspicions and a pair of Something in the Drinks. You're going to set aside 2 of these encounter sets out of play, that's the Hideous Abominations and the Striking Fear. And then you're going to take these four encounter sets and shuffle them up to form the encounter deck. Now you're going to take these six cards and set them aside out of play. One copy of Darkened Hall, three copies of the identical Back Hall Doorway, and your story assets, Dr. Morgan and Peter Clover. There are two copies of Act Card 3A. One is titled All In and one is titled Fold. You're going to put one of these in the act deck depending on whether you're playing this scenario first or second. If you're playing this scenario first before extracurricular activity, you're going to use the card titled All In. If you're playing this scenario second, so you have completed extracurricular activity, even if it didn't go so well, you're going to use the card titled Fold instead. Now it's time to set up your locations and there are only four which start in play. All the investigators are going to start at the Bella Luna, which is only connected to the Clover Club Lounge, which is then connected to all the other locations in play. And remember, you've set aside some locations, so not all the symbols are going to match up. You're also going to put the Clover Club Pit Boss into play at the Clover Club Lounge. Before you start this scenario, we recommend checking out page 4 of the rules reference to read up on how aloof works, because you may not have seen it in the core box. It affects how enemies engage with you, and what you need to do to engage with those enemies. And don't forget this is a new campaign, so you're going to want to set up a new chaos bag. This configuration is slightly different from the Knight of the Zealot, so make sure you don't include any tokens you shouldn't. If all goes well, your setup should look something like this. Set aside three copies of the back hall doorway, the darkened hall, Peter Clover, Dr. Morgan, and everything from the Hideous Abominations encounter set, and everything from the Striking Fear encounter set. These are your four locations which are starting in play, and the Clover Club Pit Boss is at the Clover Club Lounge. Your investigators are starting off at the Bella Luna, so flip it over and put one clue per investigator on it. Chosen the difficulty for your scenario card, you've got three Act and Agenda cards, there's your encounter deck, ready to go! It is possible to set up both of these scenarios ahead of time, because they don't use any encounter sets that overlaps, either from this box or from the original core box. And if you do so, you will find you've got some cards left over. The first one is a single card, and that is revealed after you've played both of the scenarios. So don't worry about that. The other two encounter sets, Space Earwig and Mystery Windmill, will be used in future parts of the Dunwich Legacy campaign. and your story assets, Dr. Francis Morgan and Dr. Peter Clover. Ah, oh, it's not coming off. I've ruined the plank of wood. Oh, but